Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dixit and this is my channel Pentest Diaries. So today I will give you one of the walkthrough of Retire Machine of Hack the Box and the machine name is Return and in this machine, it's an easy machine so I'll just, it's just a small video also for this, it's hardly takes 6 minutes to make this complete walkthrough for it. Uh, so in this, we just using a straightforward uh, reverse shell or those things we are using it but not um, any other different type of techniques we are using in this machine so let me go to the machine and just show you that how to get it solve this machine so in this machine the first of all we have to run the and map as the machine name is return so this is a easy machine so let me run the and map first to know like what's the actual output for it and what other ports are running on the target machine so we'll simply have to run the nmap and the IP address is 92.221 Okay, let me wait for the output So now I can see that the port port, 20, uh, port 53, port 80, port 88, 135, 193, 89, 444, 645, 93, 636 and 3268 and 3269 So these are the ports looks like open on the target machine and it's uh, it's clear to me like this machine is a window machine definitely okay so what's the next step for it as port 80 is enabled so let me open the browser try to get it access the application so let me try to get it access this it's 10.129.95 92 so I can able to see this page okay what I'll do I'll just click on settings and I can see this okay so what I'll do now I'll simply start the listener through on 389 as over here you can see that the port is 389 now one more thing we simply have to identify our uh, terminal 0 IP address so I can see that it's 14.22 so let me replace this 10.10.14.22 okay and click on update once we click on update we can able to see the output over here okay so you can see that we are getting the password okay this is the password you are using it to get it login with Apple VRM so now what I'll do I'll simply fire this command and by this I'll just get it inside of the machine so let me fire this command I have this uh, this username we already get it from the portal this is the password which you're getting it this is the target IP address which we have to replace it earlier it's 212 now it's 221 uh, let me run it wait for the output we'll get that yeah we'll get it now I'll just make it back and go to the desktop and now type user.txt and I can I will do read the content of user.txt okay this is the first thing which will which we want to get it done now we'll just figure out running the who am I hyphen all just to identify the privileges and everything about it so we get the output okay and I can see that built-in server operator so what I'll do now so the next thing I'll do, I'll simply have to copy uh, on my base machine itself. Okay, on my base machine, I'll just call close this. Okay, so I'll already copy this nc.exe on my base machine. Okay, what I'll do now, I'll simply have to get it copy and um, let me as I have already not copy it. So let me run with that. Okay. I'll run the HTTP server over here and then what exactly I have to do I'll simply have to import that file to my target machine so as we have already uh, have the details about it so we are already inside of the uh, low level shell let me pull this content inside of my machine once it's done I'll simply have to run the DIR I can able to see the nc.exe so this is one part is done now what we have to do we'll simply have to run nc and code number is this okay what i have to do now i'll simply have to run this this three commands and by that way i can get the root level rights okay so i'll run this so by this way what actually is happening it just combined the just using this file and triggering this okay 
so now it just embedded the content which we are trying to write it we stopped the services and when we started it, it's automatically triggered our embedded content and we get the reversal once we run the final start command you can able to see i can able to get the root now what you can do you simply have to fire this command just to get the root.txt content as this shell is not a stable shell so that was a reason behind it i am running directly this okay so this is a easy machine i'll explain you once again what are the steps we have to take it simply we have to run the nmap we just get that uh, couple of ports port 80 is one of the preference point for us we'll just start with port 80 then we go to the setting section over there itself we simply have to replace the host name with our ip address local host ip address and on port uh, 389 we have to start a listener on a base machine when we click on update we get the reverse shell not a reverse shell we get the credentials and that credential we have to use it with a will vrm and by that way we get it inside of it we get the user flag then we run the who am i all uh, we just get some information out of it then we'll proceed further with that and using that service we just try to import nc.exe as it's not present on my uh, target machine so i'll just simply download it on my target machine for my base machine and then uh, using the service to get it embed our content inside of it we'll stop that service and start it once again we get the root level share and we can able to read the root text and i can see that that's a final flag thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe my channel if you like to connect me you can connect me directly on linkedin and if you want to provide your feedback you can you can provide your feedback in the comment section of this video thank you so much once again take care bye bye